My name is Andy Haynes. I'm Professor of Environmental Change and Public Health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. And uh, I'll be talking, focusing really on the issue of climate change and how it's going to impact on human health. Indeed, how it's already impacting on human health and the kind of actions that we need to take in order to reduce the impact. And there are two broad types of actions adapting to climate change as best we can and mitigating, in other words, cutting uh, emissions that are driving climate change. So in my talk, I'll discuss the various categories, the various types of impacts that climate change has on human health. And these range from the very direct, like heat, extreme heat exposure, for example, exposure to floods and droughts, through to the less direct, for example, infectious diseases, uh, waterborne, foodborne diseases, vector-borne diseases such as malaria and dengue changing their distributions. And then through to those very indirect impacts that are mediated through the effects on socio-economic systems. So for example, increasing poverty, perhaps conflict, population displacement and so on. So I'll be discussing or giving a brief overview of these different categories of, of effects and how they can impact on human health and how they're beginning to impact on human health already, how these impacts will get larger over time. But then I'll turn to talking about potential um, actions that we can take in order to try and reduce the impacts of climate change on health, both adapting to climate change, for example, through more effective healthcare delivery systems, which are more resilient to shocks, early warning systems for heat waves and, and disease outbreaks and so on. But then very importantly, I'll conclude by talking about the opportunities and the benefits of moving towards a zero carbon economy, a net zero emissions economy over coming decades. And I'll point out how that can benefit human health, not just by preventing dangerous climate change, but also by bringing near term benefits, for example, through reduced air pollution, through healthier, more sustainable diets and food systems, and more sustainable cities, and also through decarbonizing our health care systems that are responsible for about 5% of greenhouse gas emissions. So although uh, my lecture will focus quite a lot on the negative uh, dimensions of climate change and health, and the real risks that we're ri running at the moment, uh, it'll also end, I hope, on a positive note by talking about the actions that we can take and we must take if we're going to reduce the risks of dangerous climate change and set humanity on a course for a safer and healthier future.